Hello YouTube again. Uh, actually, after finishing up part two of my review, I did realize that I had forgotten a couple parts and wanted to be thorough in the review. So uh, the two parts that I had forgotten in part two, which is linked below as well as part one, um, is going to be the clear sprue and our chrome tree. So uh, clear sprue, I'll go ahead and leave in just for uh, easy uh, display because there's not a whole lot to it. We have front and rear windshields, which again, you know, crystal clear. However, mine do have some markings on the windshield. I'll go ahead. Those black markings are actually on the windshield. Uh, I believe it's on and not in, but kind of bummer there. Um, as well as some of the marker lights, headlights, things like that. So pretty straightforward. Uh, a small little clear tree, and then last but not least is our chrome tree, which you can see here has our racing air intake, shifter knob, exhaust tips, which are nicely molded. They're not hollowed out, but they are nicely molded. We have our stock wheels there our RT logos here in the corner, as well as our four barrel carb. Short shifter, rear view mirror, our stock air, air intake. <clears throat> Valve covers and then the steely rims here on the side as well as our t-handle shifter so again uh just wanted to go ahead and make sure that i did actually have a thorough review out there of the entire kit so i apologize i know that i've been kind of rambling on about the um kind of the, the pitfalls of this kit uh being released as a nascar style of race car um it's one of those deals where uh, this this and the Superbirds are a couple of my favorite cars. And um, having the MPC Charger Daytonas, uh, both the K&K &K and the Dick uh, Richard Brooks or Dick Brooks uh, number 22. Um, I, when I seen that this was coming back out, I was really hoping that this would be a full um, like stock car release. Um, I'm... Still hopeful that round two, as I mentioned in my last one, will re-release one of the MPC kits. Um, sadly, I don't know when that is. So uh, just to kind of hold myself over, I did pick up a couple of these. I do like the fact um, a couple of things that are nice comparative to those um, is the fact that it does have the photo etch air intake grill here. That is beautiful in this. Um, also the fact that you have that nice instrument cluster for the dash, that is also really nice to see. So, um, overall, uh, again, I know that I've kind of bashed this kit quite a bit, but it does look like it is going to build into a beautiful representation of a Dodge Charger Daytona. Um, I also have the MPC kit, um, the, the stock, uh, car kit, um, and the fact that this has the detailed suspension uh, for the cars is beautiful. I love the fact that it actually has the full detailed suspension, where the other one, uh, basically, it's just two, um, two rods shoved through the bottom. So um, definitely give Pro Modeler credit. They, they came out with a beautiful kit here. And so, um, if you ever get, if you get the chance to pick one of these up, I definitely would suggest it. Even if you're not going to build it as a race car, if you just want it as a stock car or even soup it up, um, as kind of like a, um, modded car or something like that, uh, this would be a great starting platform for all of that. So again, uh, just wanted to come back with part three just to give a quick overview of the chrome tree and the clear parts. Uh, I will have a link in the description below for part one, which is my instructions video for this kit, and part two, which is looking through the major part of the plastic that comes in the kit. Have a wonderful rest of your day.